Peace and blessings, Jai people. Uh, I got a little video I have to get off of my chest because um, I have, uh, every so often, I get new people on my Facebook page, on YouTube, uh, new subscribers, thank you. Um, I wanted to help you guys to expand your consciousness, your, uh, your, your, your state of information that you're receiving, and to actually let you take heed to uh, some of the new information. But I don't want you to just run off with it and just take my word for it because I need you guys, I really, really need you guys to do your due diligence in researching. So just, just don't take my word for it. Um, when you apply this type of thinking, this type of consciousness, I want you to, uh, to think about the appropriate ways to apply it to your life. So um, I get every so often a few people on my page that may follow certain herbalists or well-known herbalists that may not subscribe to or advocate certain fruits and vegetables as I do. Because they like to uh, think that things are man-made or hybrids or um, GMO, um, I want people to really do their own research. A lot of people like to say you can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, you can't eat man-made foods and first of all for those who are saying that thing and they're taking heed to other people's information I want you to say well am I consuming anything that is debilitating my health that's working for you that's only working for you are you consuming things that are debilitating your health that's degenerating your health if you are then don't cons don't concern yourself with anything that is man-made because it is not going to work for you anyway so if you're consuming anything of a dead corpse or dead animal flesh decayed muscles or any of those type of things that you're consuming and you have the nerve to ask me about man-made vegetables um, I think you need to worry about if something is GMO or cloned first of all now um, one thing somebody always come up to me about is saying Oh, you should not consume broccoli because it's man-made. And I'm like, who told you this? And I already know who told you this. I already know. But before you go off saying something is man-made, do you eat lemons? Would you eat lemons? But did you know that lemons is a bitter orange mixed with a citron? See, every fruit has to evolve as we grow in this world, as we evolve in this world. So hybridization, it's simply taking one fruit from one region, whether it's a seed from this region, and mixing it with a crossbreeding, crossbreeding it with a fruit of another region so that we can still take in those benefits from that seed. And who made the seed? God made the seed. So it's not man-made, it's just being that it's crossbred just like you are. If you're light-skinned, if you're mixed, if you're mixed with Chinese people and you're mixed with Puerto Rican people or black people, is there anything wrong with you being man-made or hybrid? No, it is not. So therefore, you are organic and that fruit and vegetable that you're eating should be organic. It should not be genetically modified or cloned. So therefore, that's what you should be eating. So those people that like to say broccoli, don't eat broccoli. Did you know that it has a high quality content of what we call uh, sulforaphane? Sulforaphane or um, endo-3 carbonyl. These are what we're going through in this world. Uh, some of the estrogen dominant that's, that's we're suffering from, whether it's endometriosis, PCOS, prostate cancer, breast cancer, all these are estrogen dominant type of uh, ailments that we are having. And if you want to metabolize those type of estrogens out of the body, those bad estrogens, and those bad estrogens are your 4-hydroxyestrones and your 16-hydroxyestrones, if you want to get rid of those, you have to eat things with endo-3 carbonyl. And those are your 2-hydroxyestrones that you really, really need to get those bad ones out of the body. I sell some broccoli powder. I like to tell people to always consume um, at least three of three servings of um, cruciferous vegetables per day. You know, if you're dealing with uh, any of those type of ailments, and that would definitely help heal your situation. Also, the broccoli has a high content of sulforaphane. 
which is basically a preventive uh, state for DNA damage, which we are, D uh, DNA is an acid. And we can't always be alkaline. Every single piece of our body has different pHs. You know, our colon is 5.5, your, your vagina is 4.5. All of these are acid. But your skin is alkaline, your spit is alkaline. All those things are different. So please, please do your due diligence when it comes to research. Um, I just want to help people become their best versions, their healthiest version, and have the right type of food to help get rid of those ailments. Um, so for fame, um, please, please, please con continue to eat your garlic, continue to eat your uh, broccoli. Um, I have a whole lecture on garlic chemistry. Um, and if you wanna take heed to the, the broccoli powder that I sell, you can take up to 10 of those per day. You know, just because of the high content of endo-3 carbonyl that you will be receiving. So, thank you guys for listening. Um, I do want people to start doing their own research. So, uh, I am your brother and doc, Ra Shalom. Hopefully, you can use Shalom Health Services as a reliable source of information and health products. So, thank you guys for listening. I'll talk with you guys soon. Job blessings.